Welcome back to Broke Man Finance. My name is Adam, and you could probably have seen this video coming if you watched my last one. If you didn't, then I'll make sure to leave a link above my head so you can go check that out. But today, we are looking at Sidious Pharmaceuticals a little more in depth, ticker symbol CTXR. In that video, I gave the top 10 most talked about penny stocks that are currently being spoke about on Reddit. Well, Sidious Pharmaceuticals was number three on that list, solidifying that there is a lot of buzz surrounding Sidious Pharmaceuticals and everything they're doing. Well, we're going to talk about that very thing today and make sure to stick around till the very end because at the very end of this thing, we're going to talk about where that share price is forecasted to go and where I think we can see that thing over the next couple of years. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. These are things that I use on the daily that helps me make and save money. If you like to make and save money as well, which I know you do, that's why you're here then go check those out and also while you're rummaging around go up just a little bit farther and hit that red subscribe button but only if you are open-minded to subscribing and hanging out with us for a little while longer Sidious describes itself as a late stage specialty pharmaceutical company that develops and commercializes critical care products with a particular focus on anti-infectives and cancer care Sidious is currently trading for $1.84 at the time of this filming. One thing that I really liked about Sidious as opposed to some of the other companies on that penny stock list is the transparency. There are some of those companies on that list where they it was hard pressed to find just basic information on some of them. I'm not going to throw any un under the bus yet. But Sidious does a good job explaining the problem, they uh, how they're going to address the problem where they're at in the process, the outcomes that they are expecting whenever they address those problems. They lay everything out very, very clearly and with just an overload of information to, to dig through. That tells me as an investor that they that this company has a very clear vision and a very, very clear understanding of what their objectives are and what they're trying to accomplish. Plus, for the products that they're developing, which are very innovative, they have no real competition yet. Take this recipe of innovative products, real problems, you're addressing real problems that affects people's lives and health, and the fact that no one else is even close to you in this space as far as competition, to me, that spells profits. And the way they're, re they're releasing their products as far as scheduled, everything, there's a very stringent process that they have to go through before things can go uh, to the commercialization phase. But as long as everything continues to get approved, they have... <sighs> through their scheduled releases, they're going to have consistent revenue for years. In the brief overview right here, they highlight that their lead asset, which we're gonna talk about in just a second, is in the late stages of approval, and it's looking good to be approved soon, and this has been going on for some time now. So this is going to be a really big deal for this company. But if you look down at the bottom, this is what I like the most, and that's that the management and the founders have invested $26.5 million. Now, I'm not sure if that number has increased since this was published and i also don't know how wealthy these guys really are so it could there's no doubt that it could be a drop in the bucket when it comes to some of these guys that could be just a minuscule little number but it is a number and i like it when management actually has some skin in the game they actually have put their own money up or they have some th something to lose as well that's attached to the company so if the company doesn't do well and doesn't succeed, they also lose money. Their current product lineup looks like this. You got Mino Lock, you got City 002 or Halo Lido Lido, and forgive me if I say something wrong, I'm not in the medical field, so please don't crucify me. City 101 or Mino Ramp, and then you have City 401, which as you can see could potentially be their most valuable asset here. This isn't a pharmaceutical company that's just waiting for other pharmaceutical companies' patents to expire so they can copy their medications and push them out as their own. This company is actually innovative and in making their own products. So let's take a look at the very first one on the list and the one that there that is closest to getting commercialized, and that's Minolock. Minolock is an antibiotic lock solution used to treat patients with catheter-related bloodstream infections which apparently is much more common than I ever realized. Look at these numbers. Of the 7 million CVCs used annually in, in the U.S., up to 472,000 become infected, leading to serious life-threatening infections. 
These infections are associated with 12 to 25 percent mortality and morbidity. This is the first moneymaker for Sidious and it is the farthest along. The FDA has fast-tracked it with a QIDP or Qualified Infectious Disease Product designation and patent protection until June 2024 with a formulation patent protection until November 2036. Minolock is currently in the Phase 3 Pivotal Superiority Trial, which started back in 2017, the Phase 3. And the average time for something in this phase is three years. So anytime this could be ready to go, all it would take is the final approval, which you can see here shouldn't take very long, and then prep for commercialization. If the FDA didn't approve it, it would, it would set this company back years, but I just don't see that happening because Typically, the FDA is not going to give a fast track approval to something that they don't believe is going to get approved in the first place. Usually, that's a good sign if it gets fast tracked that it's going to be approved eventually down the road once they satisfy all the requirements. City 002 or Halo Lido is a formulation designed to provide anti inflammatory and anesthetic relief to persons suffering from hemorrhoids. And this will be the first ever FDA approved prescription product to treat hemorrhoids in the US. This one is still a little ways out as well, but it is the next closest to getting to market behind Minolock. According to IMS, over 25 million units of topical combination prescription products for hemorrhoids were sold in the United States during the 12 month period ending June 2012. And that was estimated to be $80 million per year back then. That was a long time ago, but I'm sure people's butts are still in trouble. This is a consistent problem for people's being holes, so that should be a consistent revenue stream year after year. Mmm, can you smell the money? You know what? Actually, don't smell that money. City 101, also known as MinoRap, is a rap-able medical film that's intended to reduce infections associated with the use of breast tissue expanders that are used in breast reconstruction surgeries following mastectomies. Again, these infections are much more common than we realize. The rate of infection following a mastectomy with tissue expander is 2.4 to 24%. That's an estimated mean of around 12 to 14 percent, but we are still a ways off from this one being ready to go commercially, and you can see here where they are at on the timeline with it. Last but not least is City 401, which addresses ARDS, or acute respiratory failure characterized by a rapid onset of widespread inflammation in the lungs. ARDS impairs the lungs' ability to exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide, an important thing. In the third quarter of 2020, they announced they signed an exclusive worldwide licensing agreement with Novellus Therapeutics, limited to in-licensed second-generation cellular therapy for ARDS. This has been a particularly nasty problem in COVID patients, and currently, there is no FDA-approved product to treat ARDS. And after targeting ARDS in COVID patients, they plan to expand it into other areas where it's prevalent. Now this one also has a ways to go as you can see here and we could be looking at this not being ready for commercialization for years but with the COVID dynamic and angle it could they could fast track this one as well to help save lives. City has recently closed a private placement round of financing for roughly $20 million in late January. Separately, the company reported gross proceeds of approximately $76.5 million before fees and expenses from a direct offering, which made me feel much better about their finances. They have enough cash now to keep moving and grooving until Minolock is actually bringing in some income, until they are, it is actually bringing in some revenue. So they are still operating with a net income in the red, but that's to be expected with a company such as this. It seems as if more institutional investors are starting to jump on this one. And you can see here, uh, look at these dates here as of recent, I mean, which is usually a good sign whenever they start jumping on the bandwagon. And currently they own around 6% of the company in total. Now there aren't many analysts covering Sidious right now, but I think that's gonna change in the future. But the ones that are covering them are considering them a strong buy. You can see right here that that forecasted share price on the low end is around $4 by this time next year and all the way up to $8 around the same time next year. 
I can see this one continuing to push up as things get approved and as they get products to market, especially as those earnings reports start coming in. And at the same time, they're pushing more products out. That's just going to keep on bringing in revenue. I fully expect, I would expect to see this one in the double digit range within the next two years. At the $1.84 mark, I would like to see it get a little bit lower to be a strong buy, but even still, I'm, I'm very optimistic about where this company is heading in the direction and vision of this company. I think they're doing a lot of great things and they're heading in a very, very positive direction. I would still go ahead and buy at these prices and if it does dip, I would just average down, but I would certainly average up too as long as uh, they continue to keep putting out good news and continue to drive innovation in the medical world. I could fully see this one, can, like, I, like I mentioned, getting into the double digit range over the next couple of years. So at, at $1.84, I'm buying and so I would consider this a buy, but remember, I'm no financial advisor. I am just a guy on YouTube. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, I hope those stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe and I hope everyone out there takes care.